What's up? Welcome back to Roots and Culture Travel. I am Chelsea S. Porter and I wanted to upload a quick video today because I am finding myself in need of uh, examples of my teaching skills and teaching style. And so if you are just a regular viewer to this channel, then welcome <laughs> to this video. Um, however, if you are viewing this video because I have applied to uh, and a job or um, a project, then welcome as well. <laughs> um, it's kind of going to serve two purposes for me, but I am finding that I have kept very little documentation of myself over the years and I am working towards uh, being better at doing that. So uh, this is a great lesson that I like to teach kids. I think the youth in this video are ages about eight to about 15 or 16. And this video was shot in Chicago at a school that I used to teach at in back of the yards. And um, it's a very special group of youth that I worked with many years ago now. Um, but this great uh, art form is called Jiotaku. It is a Japanese printmaking art form and it is what the fishermen used to do in order to record their catch um, back before there were cameras. So I love working with this um, lesson plan because it only requires you to have a fish and sumi ink. If you have trouble getting sumi ink and you want to try this at home with your kids or with your students, you can definitely do so. Um, I do find that sumi ink, sumi ink works better than say tempera paint or acrylic paint because sumi ink really picks up the texture of the fish. So if you have access to getting the sumi ink, I highly recommend it. However, if you're working with younger kids, maybe two to five or six, then they probably won't notice so much the difference between the ink and the paint, but older kids definitely seem to appreciate using the uh, sumi ink over the paint. So yeah, you only need those two things and working with dead fish always gets a reaction out of the kids. <laughs> they are squeamish and think it's gross and uh, get really involved. So um, yes, please enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching. I want everybody to be respectful. I don't want anybody throwing the fish 